a north-south highway from Orange Walk to Belmapan. Not one, but two and possibly three cruise ports in the Belize district. All four major highways and many smaller ones paved and upgraded to all-weather status. A reduction in the number of traffic accidents. International airports in San Pedro and Placencia and expansion everywhere else. The strategy presented today by a multi-sectoral grouping dares to dream big. I think the younger ones behind us will be very impressed, Dr. Rogers, that we took time out to develop a strategic plan as the way forward to develop our country and to move our country in the 21st century and beyond. When the rest of the nation and the world is moving forward, we never had such a comprehensive document to guide us. I looked at this document over the past weekend. We're looking at everything as it relates to public transportation, shuttle buses, public transportation. We're looking at the, uh, the water taxi. We're looking and we are planning for, for those who are using the, the municipal airstrip. We know exactly scientifically how many people use our highway in terms of commuters, in terms of private tra uh, transport. We know scientifically how many people will be able to use and what we need to do to invest now so that we know that we might be able to go from municipal airstrips to bigger carriers. We have the data. The data here today that reflects what we will need in the next 20, 25, 20, 35. The strategy recognizes the importance of road infrastructure and includes a timeline for nearly every major road in the country to be upgraded by 2035. Some, like the Caracol Road and Coastal Highway, and even the minister's native Old Northern Highway, are already in planning and or construction stages. But there is also a role for safety, according to IDB specialist Christopher Brossard. To ensure that uh, transportation, all modes of it are safe, you first need to have a good institution setting, a good legal, legal framework as well that is able to capture and manage those safety issues. So that is definitely one of the facets that is addressed within this study. Say goodbye to the Bluebirds. The Executive Director of the Economic Development Council, Ishmael Kiros, says Belizeans will soon ride in style. What the Transportation Master Plan um, includes as key recommendations um, with regard to public transportation is a gradual improvement in the quality of the, the buses available for public, um, for public use. And that's going to take uh, uh, regulatory reform to enable um, longer term licenses um, that will allow operators to, to be able to provide services. That in turn should incentivize and enable the private, typically small private bus operators to be able to invest um, in, their, in the bus fleets. Uh, and that should be coupled with uh, improved um, criteria, um, improved quality that, they, that the operators will need to comply with. Uh, in order to be able to provide better services. The end result, says IDB country representative Dr. Cassandra Rogers, must be a country that moves. Now that the plan is here, it needs to be implemented. It needs to be disseminated widely, not only at the technical level, but to the average citizen in general, because the plan um, can only be effectively implemented. It involves a large group of stakeholders, and these stakeholders need to have a clear understanding of the content of the plan, what are the objectives, how it is benefiting um, Belize, how it is benefiting themselves, and what is their role and responsibility in the implementation of that plan. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.